Can you take portraits with a full spectrum camera? Hey, what's up you guys? Nick here. For those of you new to my channel, my name is Nick. I'm a professional photographer. I've been shooting professionally for four years now. So I've had a camera in my hand for the last 16 and we are out at the river with Jessica. Which for those of you who have seen a lot of my videos, you'll be familiar with because she shows up in a lot of them. But today we are in the perfect overcast skies. Same skies we did the D50 New Year's shoot in. It's a little bit later in the afternoon, but today we're out with the Nikon D70S and we're going to do a 2021 review for with the Nikon D70S. So I hope you guys enjoy. And today we're going to take a quick look at my Nikon D70S full spectrum conversion. Now this is technically my second DSLR, my second digital SLR camera, and I bought this one on eBay as, as a full spectrum camera. And the reason I bought it was to do landscape photography in infrared, such as this image right here. Now this camera right here is actually pretty much exactly the same as the Nikon D70. It came out about a year or two afterwards. It's 6.1 megapixels. The Control knobs are slightly different than the Nikon D70, and we'll go over those in the video where we go over the manual mode for this, which will come out in a couple of weeks. But I really wanted to know is, can the Nikon D70S with a full spectrum conversion take good portrait photos? So I went out with Jessica, and you probably recognize her from several of my other videos, and we went down to the riverbank and we shot with, with the Nikon D70S. I knew that by my review of the Nikon D70 and using one of these that had not been converted yet, that this would take amazing photos, such as my Nikon D70, which I did a review of in that video right up there. Now, we used a 50 millimeter prime lens for this, the Yongno 1.8, which is my go-to when I'm going and shooting outdoors, especially near the river like that. And I'll link my video on that one up there. So I decided that I wanted to see if you could take good portraits with a full spectrum camera. Now, I've shot with this one enough before to know that color images with the white balance setup that I have on this, and we'll do a whole video on infrared photography and setting up white balance with this camera. The way I had the white balance set for this, greens showed up as white, essentially. So I knew that a color photo would turn out really orangey, such as this right here, which is an example of one of the images I took of Jessica with this camera before sending it through Lightroom and Photoshop and editing it. Now, what I ended up doing is I decided that because you get kind of a ghostly features when shooting with this camera, that I would be editing them into black and white. I kind of wanted to see if I could really capture some really soft, kind of Judy Garland, Wizard of Oz kind of images. So that's what we set out to do by the river. I wanted to make sure that it was an outdoor shoot because I wanted the greens and the browns and you know the the winter colors around us and we happen to have a super overcast day i did three shoots on the exact same day with different cameras so we have several of those videos coming out but the nikon d70s actually performed exactly how i wanted it to now i ran out of battery a little bit faster than i wanted to and i left the extra battery for this camera in my Nikon D50, which I had left at home because we had used it that morning in a separate shoot. But I will link my video about mistakes that you can make and how to not make them because we go over all about not forgetting batteries at home. But I had also brought the Nikon D5100 with me so we were able to get a second video shot with that. So keep a lookout for the Nikon D5100 video here in 2021. But back to the Nikon D70S. Now the Nikon D70S, like I said, the LCD screen is slightly larger than the LCD LCD screen on my Nikon D70. And I have the D70 right here. As you can see, this LCD screen is slightly larger. It does have the two knob control system like the Nikon D70 does, where you have your f-stop and your shutter speed controlled by two separate knobs, much like a professional camera. Other than some minor differences, such as flipping what knob does what, the size of the LCD screen, this camera is almost exactly the same as a Nikon D70. So if you find an Nikon D70S, yes, they're about 50 to $65 on eBay right now. Still a wonderful camera. It's slightly newer than the Nikon D70, so you can find them with a lower shutter count. Now, if you're super creative and you super want to do some artsy stuff, um, you can get these with an infrared conversion or a full spec spectrum conversion. And the reason I went with a full spectrum conversion is because I want to be able to choose the wavelength I'm using. So generally when I'm shooting infrared photography, I choose 750 nanometer wavelength. You just screw the filter onto the end of your lens. 
Whereas with an infrared conversion, that infrared filter is actually placed on top of the sensor because the way they convert these is they take them apart. They remove the separate filters from the sensor and it creates a full spectrum camera. Now I have used this one on like haunted ghost tours and stuff and caught some really cool orb images, but really I wanted to see if the Nikon D70S with a full spectrum conversion can take wonderful portraits. And I'm gonna start showing them now because they came out phenomenal. Out of about 50 photos, I got 12 that were usable. The autofocus on this one is starting to slow down. This one has a pretty high shutter count. It's really well used. So it's the autofocus isn't quite as fast as I want it to. My buttons on the back that change the autofocus position are beginning to wear out. So they're not, I couldn't always get it focused right where I wanted it to, but it created some extremely soft and beautiful images. Now, part of that was the great lighting. We had that wonderful, wonderful overcast weather. It was like 27 degrees out and we were both freezing. Overcast, in my opinion, is the best light period. Overcast skies trumps any studio light out there. It trumps any LED light out there. It trumps any form of natural light because you have the entire sky acting as a giant softbox and you can get some of the softest, most beautiful light imaginable. If I'm scheduled to do a natural light shoot, even in the studio, I try to find a day where it's gonna be overcast. Even with the cheesecloth, you just get the perfect soft light. And the Nikon D70S with the full spectrum conversion was able to really pick up on that and really capture these beautiful, beautiful images. And then when I went through and edited them, I have an infrared preset on Lightroom that I use. So I would click on the infrared preset and it created those, those whites and kind of ghostly dreamlike images, but it also did it with the model. In a lot of these images, her eyes are still really sharp. Not all of them because the autofocus on this is starting to fail, but in most of them, her eyes are really, really sharp where the rest of her and everything around her is extremely soft or a little bit bokeh or a little bit blurry, but we were able to achieve something that I'm not able to achieve with my Nikon D70 or my Nikon D50 or any of the other cameras I have because this is able to pick up wavelengths of light not capable of being picked up on those other cameras because they have that filter in front of the sensor. So the Nikon D70S, not only is it a fantastic camera that I recommend getting if you're looking for an intro camera, along with the Nikon D50, which I'll link my video up there for it, and the Nikon D70, or if you're looking for something a little fancier, the 5300, the 5100, those are all wonderful starter cameras but if you manage to find a Nikon D70S with a full spectrum conversion, they're about $150 to $200 online because again, there's some labor that goes into creating them, but you can create some wonderful, dreamlike black and white images with it if you have your white balance set correctly. Again, I use a custom white balance on this and I will go into that when we do an infrared video on how I set up that custom white balance and how it affects the images that I take and the coloration of it. Again, mostly what we're gonna be doing with that is black and white photography because the colors can seem a little bit off in color. Though I've had some successes in doing color photography with this full spectrum camera. So the question was, the Nikon D70S in 2021, do I recommend this? Absolutely. Can you take portraits with an infrared or full spectrum camera? Absolutely, you can. Again, it's going to be a little bit soft. You're letting in a lot of light that's generally filtered out, and it creates these really soft, dreamlike images. Is it okay for every situation? No. But if you're looking for that artistic, flare added to your photos, I definitely recommend finding a full spectrum camera. There are a few Canons that are easily, that are easily modded to be full spectrum as well as several other than Nikons, but from everything I've read in my own personal experiences, the Nikon D70 and the Nikon D70S actually have the best sensor for infrared photography. In my experience, that holds true. You really get the dreamiest kind of ghost-like images out of it. And again, for whether you're doing landscape or portrait, as it turns out, you can do portraits with a full spectrum camera. It would probably be my go-to in the future. If I can find a cheap enough D70 that's been converted to strictly infrared, I'd probably pick that up just so that I could try portraits strictly in infrared. One of the bad things about using the filter in the front is it blacks out your screen, whereas if they put the filter in front of the sensor, you can still look down and use the mirror prism system as it was intended. So do I recommend one of these? Absolutely. 
Is it good for every situation? No, it's absolutely not great for every single situation, but for its niche situation, it works marvelously for that. So yes, the Nikon D70S with a full spectrum conversion, not only is it still relevant in 2021, I definitely recommend if you're looking for that kind of style, pick one up. They're not very expensive on eBay. Again, the full spectrum conversion is about $150 to $200 on eBay, but you can buy just the bodies for about $50 to $65, much like many of the used cameras that we've gone over and talked about in the past year. So I want to thank you guys again so much for joining me on this journey. We're almost to 600 subscribers already. We just hit 50. I swear we just hit 50. Remember, at 1,000 subscribers, I'm giving away a Nikon N80 35mm film camera. So like this video, subscribe, share it if you enjoy my content. Make sure you leave a comment. I do answer all questions. If you hit me up on Instagram, if you hit me up on Facebook, or if you hit me up in the comment section, I will respond to you. I'm very, very good about that. I did have one Instagram message that Instagram didn't notify me about. So if it takes a little bit of time, just send me another message so that the actual notification pops up because it doesn't always pop up. My Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter are going to be down in the description below the links to those as well as my merch shop. I'm not wearing my merch right now. It's all in the washer being washed because I really have a bad habit of wearing all my merch everywhere. It's it's okay, because most of it's camera related and everyone knows I do photography. So thank you guys again so much for joining me. Have a wonderful afternoon and I will catch you all on the flip side. Bye.